so when we are down here on the Colorado River, we are about 14 miles east of Moab. What a beautiful drive. It is definitely worth a drive. Well, about 14 miles off the main drag from Moab is Castle Creek Winery. The grapes aren't here. The fruit is sourced from south of Moab as well as Grand Junction, Colorado, which is probably you know, about 100 miles as the crow flies east of us. The winery, the tasting room, and the production facility, Crush Pad, everything is here along the Colorado River. get here gorgeous views and the wine is quite delicious the on the menu they had a Sauvignon Blanc Malbec they also had a Petit Syrah Merlot and Cabernet one of our favorites is what I'm holding here is the Outlaw Red it is predominantly Malbec we wanted to try local Utah wine and this is definitely a good Utah wine to try And the cool thing is, is they make about 8,500 cases. About half of that goes up to Salt Lake City to be distributed to, you know, the liquor stores around the state. And then the other half of it, they sell here in the tasting room as well as to other restaurants and stuff around town. So if you are staying in Moab and you're not able to drive out here, I'm sure if you look on their wine list, they probably have some good local wine available. Definitely worth the drive out. You can't get lost, you're right on the river. Come try some Outlaw Red from Castle Walk Winery. We got to this Castle Creek area, which is pretty cool. So they got all sorts of people getting ready to do their rafting tours. There's a little resort here. You got beautiful views of the Colorado River all the way through. These huge bluffs and plateaus everywhere. We were just saying it looks like almost like an impressionist painting because you have reds and oranges and greens and grays and blues and puffy clouds. And it looks really almost like a movie set or something. You know, one of those old Western movie sets where people ride off into the sunset. A lot happening in the spot here in Castle Creek. So we just finished our tasting here at Spanish Valley Vineyards which is about a 10 minute drive south of Moab. They are still considered Moab, Utah, but it's about 10 minutes south on the 191. If you notice here, we are among vineyards. So this is the only estate grown vineyard here in the Moab area. And they have four acres planted with a very cute little tasting room and outdoor tasting room area. And then they also have two nightly rentals. So if you actually wanna come and stay here on property they have some nightly rentals available let's get to the important thing the wine I just have to show you this label because we were like oh where did the chameleon come from well chameleons are not really known for Utah what we said with the gentleman who was helping us is that just like a chameleon the wines are ever-changing so even though the wines are delicious when you taste them now you never know you know what it's going to taste like when you open the bottle when you take that bottle home with you so the wines are ever-changing we got the Gewürztraminer. They have a sweet Gewürztraminer as well as a dry. They also have Riesling, Cabernet, and Syrah. And again, these are all estate grown wines. Pretty tasty, very similar to what we have in Arizona. As you know, we are from Arizona. So a lot of very similar profiles with the elevation being about 5,000 feet above sea level with the limestone and the rocks here really gives it that minerality that we are used to drinking in Arizona. So the next time you're in Moab, 
take that 10 minute drive down south and check out Spanish Valley. Oh, my God.